Okay, first first off, we've got a 1 and a 6 and an 8, and they're in series, so that's a 15. And then a 3 and a 2, that's a 5. And then I've got a 5 and a 7. 5 and a 7, that is, I'm going to go 5, 1 over 1 over 5 plus 1 over 7, and that is 2.916 bar. And then this is this is in series with that. So that's going to be 5 plus this, which is 7.916 bar. Okay, and then finally, the 7.916 bar and the 15, those guys are in parallel with each other. Their ends, both ends are connected together, right? So that's going to be 1, it's going to be 7.916. 916 bar to the minus 1 plus 15 to the minus 1 to the minus 1, right? Okay, so let's figure that out. So left parenthesis. Let's go left parenthesis. Wait, hold on. This guy is fine. That's my problem. Okay, I've got it now. Okay, so now I'm going to go left parenthesis, this guy, boom, to the minus 1 plus 15 to the minus 1. The whole thing to the minus one, and that is 5.1818181818. 5.18 repeating is the resistance of this whole right side of the circuit. 5.1818181818. All right, so now we can start calculating, right? We've got an 87 volt battery. It's pressing current through a 4 ohm plus a 5.1818181818 ohm and an 8. So A1, that ammeter reading is V over R, is 87 volts divided by 4 plus, there's 4, right, plus 5.181818, 1 8 bar, <laughs> uh, plus, and then the next one's 8. Okay, let's figure this out. 87 divided by left parenthesis 4 plus 5.18 bar plus 8 right parenthesis. That is 5.0635 roughly <laughs> amps. Okay, watch a lot of current. 5.0635 amps. Okay, so let's see. Now, what does that let us figure out? Let's see. Uh, voltage across. It doesn't ask for any voltages here. So we don't need to know the voltage across the 4 or the 8. That would be easy. V1, though, we can do V1. V1 is not hard. V1 is IR, right? And the current is this current, and the resistance is the 5.18, which is the whole thing here, right? So that current goes here, here, through this whole giant thing, and then back this way, right? So that is 5.0635. And then this resistance is our 5.18 bar. Okay, so I'm going to take this guy times this guy. And that's 26.238. Two three eight zero nine. so I'll say 2381. 26.0. Okay, so that's good. Now let's see. What else can we figure out? Okay, so we know that voltage there. Okay, that voltage is pressing current through this whole branch of the circuit there. Notice that they're asking us what's the current through the 6 ohm. Let's do that one next. That'll be that'll that'll help us out. Okay, the current through the 6 ohm. So now that's going to be V over R, right? Particularly, it's going to be this voltage, that potential. So V1 divided by 15, which is the, the in the path of that side there. That's the resistance, right? So V1 is 26.2381 divided by 15. Okay, that's one point. 
seven four nine two. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything else we need to do with that. Oh, now we can figure out V3. Now we can do that. So V3 is IR. V2 is down in years, and we haven't gotten to that yet. But V3 is right here. Okay, so that's going to be this current that we just figured out is going through the 6. It's also going through the 1 and the 8, right? Uh, but V3 is, is across the 6 and the 8. So we're going to go, that's the current, 1.74. Nine two, and then the resistance from this side to this side is a total of fourteen ohms, right? The six and the eight add to fourteen. So take that number and multiply by fourteen, and that's twenty four point four eight bar. Okay, so V three is. I guess if we're doing the thing, we can go four eight eight nine, right? Okay, that's fun. Let's see what else can we do. Uh, I don't think with that current, there's anything else we need to do, is there? No. Okay. So now let's start working on this branch of the circuit, right? This there's this branch, but now this branch, right? And they're totally independent because they're parallel. Okay. So the current through the five ohm. Let's do that one next. Well, that's going to be V1 divided by this whole resistance from here to here, which was 7.916 bar. And V1 was 26.2381. And then that's by 7.916 bar. Okay, so let's find that guy. 26.2381, boom, divided by, let's see if I can find the 7.916 bar. Would it kill me to just type it in again? No, but, especially since I know how to type repeating decimals, I mean, you know, I know the trick. Okay, and that is 3.3143, um, roughly, <laughs> amps. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so we know that. Notice it asks for the voltage across the 5 ohm. Let's do that while we're at it. V5 ohm. It's just going to be IR. And it's going to be this current we just figured out. Times 5, right? All right, and that is 16. Point five seven one four. Okay, what else is it asking us for? Okay, it's want, it wants us to get down in here. We got to get V2. So how are we going to do that? Well, okay, V2 is IR, right? But what current and what resistance? The current is in this path is this current that we just figured out. This 3.3143. And the resistance that this thing's across is our 2.916 bar. So that is 3.13143. And the resistance is 2.916 bar. Okay, let's find that. Because that's that's the effective resistance between here and here in the path of that current. Okay, let's find it. So this guy, boom, times. Now i got to go up arrow until I find the 2.91. That was a long time ago. Yet it still remembers. There it is. Wow, that's cool. That's 9.6 bar. Volts. Nine point six 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 seven. If we write it with like four digits, right? It's just repeating sixes. Nine point six 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 seven. 
Six, 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 sorry. All right, V2, okay. Okay, so now we're getting down there, right? Now we can find the current through the three and the seven. We can find the voltage across the two. Now let's do it. All right, let's find the voltage, um, the current through the three ohm. All right, hold on here. Let's do a little partition here. So the current through the three ohm. Well, that's going to be V2 divided by five. Because the, we know the potential across there is 9.6 bar, right? And then we know that the voltage across this side here, sorry, the, the resistance from here to here, in the, the right, that, that that thing's trying to push it through is five. So that number divided by five is 1.93 bar. That's our current through the three ohm. Right? Now, let's see, where do, what does that help us do? Well, let's see, the current through the three ohm is also the current through the two ohm. So now we can figure out the voltage across the two ohm. That is gonna be IR. Specifically, it's gonna be I, th whatever this, we just figured out, right? And then our resistance is where it's the voltage across the two ohm, so the resistance is two. So it's gonna be 1.93 bar times two. And that's 3.86666. Eight six bar, right? So that is, that voltage is 3.8667, if we wanna do like all those de decimal points, right? It's just repeating sixes. Okay, now, um, let me just say that when you get down into this thing, right, you can also say V3 is two-fifths of V2. Okay, it's two-fifths of V2. So uh, V2 is 9.6 bar, right? So it's gonna be two-fifths of 9.6 bar. And that's because this is like a voltage divider. Uh, it's going to be three-fifths of the voltage across this guy, two-fifths of it across this guy, or five-fifths across the whole thing, right? Okay, so two, uh, 9.6 bar times two divided by five. If I do that, you get exactly the same thing. You get 3.86 bar. Okay. Okay, so that's V3. We just got that. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, V, uh, that's V2 ohm. Sorry. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else do we have left? Oh, we gotta figure out the, um, the current through the seven ohm. So the current through the seven ohm, that is just gonna be V2 divided by seven. And what's V2? V2 is 3.86666, right? Okay, so that guy is, So it's going to be 3.86 bar divided by 7. And that is 0. Point, uh, 5, 5, 2, 3. I'm seeing that I don't have that answer there. So why is that? Current through the seven ohm. V2. Oh, oh, I see, because I'm using the wrong V2. V2 is actually, I get it. V2 is this guy, 9.6 bar. Okay, so it's 9.6 bar. Here, I'll do it over again here. I confused V2 ohms with V2. Okay, okay, we got it now. So V2, it's going to be 9.6666 over 7. Let's find that. There it is. Divided by seven. And that's 1.3810. 3810. Amps. Ta-da!
I don't mean to do that, totally spacing out. Sorry about that. Okay. So that's wrong. This is right. All right. Good enough.